Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on the Via Cross again. We're going to take it out and see if we can figure out why it's got that uh, hesitation under wide open throttle or why it kind of starts to buck. So we'll take this thing out, get it warmed up, and then um, do a couple full speed runs with it and see what happens. I hope you can see the, the dash. It's kind of dark. I can't tell if you can actually even see it on camera or not. Uh, I hope you can see the dash. We're gonna do a couple full pull runs and see if you guys can hear it miss or uh, see the tack move. All right, so we'll try another run here from 40 up to 60. We're going to start off just by pulling these coil packs and swapping out the plugs. Um, I don't remember if I've ever done this before. Normally when I get a car, it's one of the first things I do just as a general tune-up. But I don't, I didn't write it down whether or not I did it and I don't remember ever having done it. So it'd be a good time to just swap out those plugs and see what they look like. Well, definitely soaked in a lot of oil, which means I need valve cover gaskets. That kind of sucks. Hmm. I can't tell if that even picks it up. The back side of the electrode's pretty worn down. So they're uh, definitely overdue and I've never changed them. All right, so changing the plugs didn't do much. So next we're just gonna check the fuel pressure. Just pop this cover off. And then here's the little Schrader valve to check the pressure. Just gonna lay a rag out underneath this so it doesn't leak gas too much. You can pull the, pull the fuse for the pump and cycle it just so there's no pressure on here when you hook up the gauge, but I don't think it'll leak that much. Hopefully. So I just rented a pressure gauge. You can just get these at AutoZone or something. All right, so I had to get a different kit to check this fuel pressure. Um, the one that I rented was missing some pieces, of course. Luckily my dad had one, so I ran back and got one from him. Alright, so we'll screw this on here quick and see how it looks. See how much gas sprays out here when I screw it down. I'll strip the key on. Let's see what the gauge reads with it not running first. Make sure there's no major leaks. All right, so no leaks. We're at about 40 p 
PSI. Try this up and see how it looks. Alright, so that was definitely a result. Um, pretty well points to an issue with the, the fuel system. That pressure's too low. It should be between 45 and 55 PSI running. And we're right around just over 30, 35. Um, so the fuel system needs some attention. It's either, chances are there's a weak fuel pump or a plugged fuel filter. Or possibly the regulator's bad. Um, since I don't have a lot of time to just... You know, replace one at a time. I think I'm just going to go through the fuel system, replace them all. So I'll have to get that stuff ordered and uh, kind of go from there. Hi right, guys, so this is a few days later. We're back at my parents' shop here. They live about an hour and a half away from me. Um, I decided to cut an access panel to get to this fuel pump on here, which I know is controversial. A lot of people don't like doing that. But in my case, since this thing is going to be spending quite a bit of time on the trail, I'd just prefer to have a way to change the fuel pump on the trail if I need to. And um, these fuel pumps are kind of known to go out, especially the aftermarket ones. So this may not be the only time I'm doing this job. So I'm going to get the spare tire out of here, pull this carpet up, and then uh, we'll mark off what we need to cut out above the tank so we can swap out that pump easily. Otherwise, the alternative is you have to drop the tank, the hitch, the rear bumper, and the fender claddings. I think, and this thing's really rusty underneath, so that wouldn't be an easy job. So, and so we can look at the top of the tank and inspect it without uh, having any issues with rust. All right, so here's what we have. Got it marked out here, the area I'm gonna cut out. We've got some protection over at the top of the tank, just to make sure there's no sparks or debris that hit it. And uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so here's what we got. We got the hole cut. Um, the tank looks pretty bad. All these lines are pretty rusty. All the screws are pretty much non-existent to get that fuel pump out. So I'm going to get this cleaned up a little bit and just kind of see how bad it actually looks. Everything feels pretty solid yet, but it looks awful. So see if we need to get it cleaned up a little bit and then um, see if we can get that cap off there get that pump out all right so unfortunately this is what I'm gonna have to wrap this one up um, this tank is just too rusty for my comfort level so I'm gonna order a new tank or used tank and uh, once that comes in we'll uh, get back to this <laughs> 